Hey neighbors, I am out only to pick up some essentials and then I'm headed right back home. But I wanted to share with you this um, family-centered yoga practice. And before you do the practice that I share in video, it's only about 20 minutes long, maybe a little bit more than that. Um, tack it on to a series of cardio. So some of my favorites are mountain climbers, jogging in place, skaters, have fun with it, but do some cardio before you even start into the, the video series that I share, if you're feeling it. I have families on my heart though. I know y'all are, um, most of y'all are at home um, looking for opportunities to stay fit, to be creative, have fun, and I am a big supporter of all of those. So let me know what else you need and uh, I'll try to take care of you during this crazy time. Take care. Hi neighbors, Lacey Pruitt here again. I wanted to share something that would be good for the children at home. So any, any age group can do this workout, but I wanted to get it a little bit more inspired to uh, children, young people, or parents to do this workout with their children. I think it'd be a lot of fun, a neat activity to do while you're, um, while we're all kind of stuck around the house. Um, I think it's very important for us to keep moving our bodies and to get all the negative stuff out and away from us and only soak in the good stuff. So let's get started here in easy seated position. So crossing your legs, close down your eyes, just let your palms sit in your lap or maybe they're just either palm is on your knees. Maybe you wanna put your hands at heart center. Close down your eyes, take a deep inhale and open mouth exhale. We call this lion's breath. You can actually make it as dramatic as you want to. Inhale deeply, open mouth, exhale. <sighs> now we're gonna keep that breath going, but we're gonna close our mouth. So deep inhale. And then with your mouth closed, exhale with just as much vigor. <sighs> so you're gonna sound like Darth Vader and that's how you know you're doing it right. So one more Darth Vader breath. Inhale, deep exhale with your mouth closed. And for mom and dad, we also call this Ujjayi breath in yoga. It's so good for you. It's gonna warm up your body from the inside out. And little fun fact is when your body's warm, it'll kill off anything that's trying to harm us. So that's why our body goes into a fever. It's because we're trying to burn, burn anything that's not serving us inside. So instead of waiting for a fever, let's create that deep, just warmth in our body with our Ujjayi breath. One more, inhaling, closed mouth, exhale. It's really fun. You can practice that the rest of the day too. Just run around and do your Darth Vader breath. So moving along, we're gonna take our left palm to our right knee. Take your right palm to the back of you. Now it's up to you how deeply you twist. Right here is plenty to start the digestive detox that you're creating here when you twist your body. You're wringing out the internal organs, almost like you're wringing out a dish towel, just squeezing it. That's what you're doing to your internal organs and it's so good for you. So if you're more flexible, maybe you wanna take your gaze to the back. Put your chin over your shoulder and really get a deep twist from your neck all the way down to your hips. One last breath here, always keep breathing. Roll all the way around, let's twist onto the other side. Deep breath here. And now we're gonna do washing machine. So guess what? You're gonna spin around, spin around, spin around, spin around. Check in with your breath. Go as fast or as slow as you want. If you get dizzy, just come back to center. Keep going, getting the heart rate up, left and right, left and right. Your arms are just swinging around like a washing machine. Last few. Awesome, find stillness back in the center. Come back to your breath. Let's set our intention right here before we continue on. Hands to heart center. I'm gonna set the intention for our time together. 
as gratitude for our health and wellness and our freedoms to practice together. I'm also gonna set an intention of fun. We're gonna have a lot of fun. We're gonna find creative ways to keep having fun here from home. Inhale, lift your hands to the sky, open up your chest, forward fold over your feet. Walk your hands over to the right side. Maybe put your left palm on top of your right palm, yeah. And feel this good side body stretch right here. Mm -hmm. Walk everything over, other side, same option. Cross over, you should feel a great stretch in your entire side body, shoulder to the hip. Back to center. Now come up, I want you to put yourself in a straddle position. So here we go. Your legs are straddled out. We're gonna come into turtle. If you don't know what turtle is, I'll show you. So you're gonna put a slight bend in your knees, just like this. You're gonna walk your hands out. Your goal is to get this elbow underneath your knee, right here. Yeah, try the other one, right here. And now kids, this is my turtle. This is as far as I can go down. Maybe check out mom and dad right now. Can they wiggle down further? Can you wiggle down further? The goal is to get your nose and your chin to that floor. <laughs> so see what's possible. See what you can do today. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. You can grab with your hand up on your foot. Yeah, see I'm trying. And go at your own pace. So if this is where you're at today, that's a great place to be. You can always come back to this pose, turtle pose, and work harder, work stronger, work more fiercely. You can close your eyes and just let your body melt closer and closer to the mat. Check in with your breath. Stay here for at least two or three breaths. So if you need to pause the video, do that. When we're done, we're gonna roll out of turtle. Shake everything out, all of your joints, elbows and knees, and then bring your feet up. Come up to standing, yeah. So here we are, I'm trying to stand back over here. Coming up to standing, we're gonna come into something called jellyfish. If you haven't done jellyfish, here you are. You're, you're uh, standing up straight, you're reaching up to the sky, all the way up to the sky, just like this. Maybe you're gonna do a little bit of a back bend, look behind you, and then exhale, forward fold all the way down. So when you're here in forward fold, here you go. Shake out your arms and your neck, jellyfish. Here you go. And your jellyfish can look as, as different as you want. You can swing your tentacles side to side. Your jellyfish can be running in circles. Your jellyfish can be a little bit more subdued where you're just hanging, yeah. Maybe it's a short jellyfish, short tentacles. You grab your elbows, shake everything out. And when you're done playing jellyfish, roll your spine up slowly, slowly, and slow some more. So now we're gonna come into a brave series called Warrior Series. So the first one is warrior one. You're gonna take a big step up top with your left foot. Your back foot, your right foot, is gonna be at an angle. You see that? I think this is a better angle right here. And you're just lunging. Yeah. Now your hips are gonna decide how deep you lunge. So this is great, right here. Yeah. Another angle, warrior one. Yep, awesome. As you exhale, warrior two, you're gonna find more space. So wiggle, 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 wiggle. Open up. Your hands are extending out to either side. Here's another angle. Other side. Yeah. Awesome. Reach up and back. Reverse warrior. Back to warrior two. Now listen, this is very important. I want you to see in warrior two, reach out front then put your forearm on your knee, just like that. Then reach up with your right hand, 
reach to the sky. Once your hips get more flexible, you can maybe lower. Put your fingernails or your fingers on the floor and look up, reach up either side, finding tons of space in the body. Windmill your arms down to your feet, yeah. And then press through that left foot, coming into half split. So here we are, other view. Uh-oh, I'm by the wall. Other view. <laughs> Try not to mess anything up in your house. Yeah, just reach up, reach up, reach up. There you go. And then lower both of your feet down, come back to jellyfish. So jellyfish is gonna be kind of a home base for us, shaking everything out when we need to. Let's come into the other side with that warrior series. So now you're gonna put your right leg to the front. You're gonna send your left leg back. My toes are slightly angled out. Hands are raising up. Yeah. Exhale through the middle body, warrior two. Should be facing the other side. Can you sink down further? Yeah, find as much space as you can. Reverse warrior, reach up and back. And then back to warrior two, very fierce pose. Reach to the front first, then drop your arm. Reach up with your left hand. If you have more space in your hips, lower that right hand. Reach to either side. On your exhale, windmill the arms down to your feet. Now this time, send your right foot back to meet your left. You're in a high push-up position. Yeah, y'all see this? High push-up. I know, you can always come to your knees if you need to, but challenge yourself today. Yeah, why not? Why not? See what you're, what you're capable of, see what's possible. So I'm gonna go back to my toes. Here we are, high plank. Can you lift one foot? Yeah. Can you lift the other foot? Can you lift both feet? I can't either. Hang in there with me. We're gonna have a lot of fun today. Bring your right knee to your left elbow. Yeah, look at that. Put it back. Take your left knee to your right elbow. Maybe close, maybe, maybe, maybe. Take it back. Now drop to your knees. Send your hips to your heels. Yeah, all the way back. Child's pose. Y'all wanna do snail? Snail is child's pose, but you go grab your feet. Yeah. So you look like a little snail. That's another home base pose you can come to whenever you need to. It's a great place to reset and recenter for moms and kids. Here we are, let's come into hero's pose. So you're gonna be on your knees. Your hands are on your knees. Yep, just like this. And then we're gonna just raise up. So you're gonna lift up, maybe a little bit of a back bend, then you're gonna exhale, go back down. Send your hands to the back. Here's another angle, lift up, maybe a little back bend, exhale. Do a few more of these. Rise up, exhale, very fluid. One more time, rise up, exhale, awesome. Now find stillness. We're gonna stand up though, but we're gonna do it in kind of a fun way. So anchor your hands to the floor or your mat, come up onto your toes. Yeah, so your toes are gonna curl under. For moms, we have those heels and the very narrow shoes that we use. Toe spreader is an awesome exercise to do to just help reset your feet. For kiddos, it just feels good. So toe spreader right here, you're just sitting on your toes. If you wanna anchor your hands, you can. Or how's your balance? Can you lift your hands up? Maybe put them in prayer. You just balance on your toes. You send your knees a little bit further. If you fall out of this, guess what? You just get right back in. Yeah, no problem. Work on your balance here. Yeah. And then only if 
your knees are strong and you think you can do it, lift your hips off your heels all the way up. Heels can still be lifted or you can set them down on the floor. Up to you, challenge yourself. One last breath. Sink the heels down, sink the hips down, come into chair. Here's our chair pose. So chair pose is like, if you had a chair behind there, you're gonna sit down, but there's not a chair there. So if we kept going, we'd fall back, right? Yeah. And falling's okay, as long as we know we're trying and we're practicing. Here we are, engaging your, your actually your whole leg, but engaging your quad, squeezing your knees together, finding more stillness in your hips, and maybe you can sink them down, maybe. Twisting to the right, bring your pair of hands over to the right. Maybe you can open up your hands here. Find more space, opening up your chest. This is good too though. Other side, other side. Pivot, yeah, prayer hands. Can your hips go further down? I'm gonna try. Maybe you extend, yeah. Come back to center, here we are. Jellyfish, sing down. So while you're here in jellyfish, just walk your hands out, come down to your knees, come down to your belly. We're gonna come into something called shark. Yeah, so everybody knows what a shark is, right? So shark in yoga looks like this. You're gonna try to balance on your belly and you're gonna try to find as little amount of your belly needed to stay on the floor. So here you go. Your arms are gonna go out in front of you. They can go wide if you want to. They can come up here. They can go narrow. You're gonna lift both of your feet. You're gonna glue them together. Yeah, like you have one leg. There you go. So legs are up, arms are up. Out to the side, here we go. Here we go, lifting, finding more height. Can your chest come up? Can your thighs come up? Close your eyes if you need to. Close your eyes if you need to. I call this a tiger shark. I call this a hammerhead shark. It's just fun. Hang in there with me. Deep breath, lower everything down. Awesome. If you wanna put your head on your hands, you can. Roll out your head side to side. That feels really good. And then coming into bow while we're down here on the floor, maybe reach back with your left hand. Is your left foot available? Is this possible right here? Good. Flip your hand around, just like that. Let's try your right. Is your right foot back there? Oh, reach, reach, reach. Yeah, it is. So I'm gonna hold both of my feet. Can you see them back there? Yep, so I got both of my feet. I'm just gonna lift up my head and my feet into bow. So when you get to bow, just hang out a little bit. Look up, press your feet into your hands Feel an overall stretch in your front body. So your chest, your core, your glutes are working. Everything's working. One last breath. Lower everything down. Bring your bow down. Very still. Use your hands to press yourself up. Yeah, let's come back up. Let's roll over onto our bottoms. Let's come into boat. So this is gonna be the opposite of what we just did. Yeah, I have my doggies up here. <laughs> Let's, you can keep your feet on the floor if you want, and then just send your hands out in front of you, and then just lean back just a little bit. Once you lean back, you'll feel your core engage. Once you feel that, that's your spot. Just hang out there. Maybe that's too easy. Maybe you wanna lift these feet up. Yeah, lift your feet up. Here's your boat. Arms can be in prayer, arms can be extended. Maybe you wanna go into a higher boat. You know what this is called? Yacht, it's a high boat. Yacht pose. Maybe your boat is a little bit lower, like maybe, maybe down here. This is canoe, yeah. This is canoe, low boat. Maybe we come back to regular boat. Maybe you wanna stay in yacht. One last breath, find your best water vessel. And everything back down. So roll all the way down to your, 
to your back. Bring your knees with you. So here we are. Bring your knees with you. Curl up like a little ball. So I'm gonna wrap my elbows to my knees. If that's too much, just put your hands on your knees. Yeah, squeeze in, squeeze in, knee to nose, knee to nose. And then relax your head back, keep your knees in. Here we are. Send that left leg out to the front. I'm gonna change my angle a little bit so you can see. Left leg, here we are. Left leg is out in front of you. Flex that foot, yeah. All right, let's switch that. Let's switch it again, because it's fun. Yeah, let's keep switching it. So you can lower your neck down, or you can lift your neck up. Try to get your knee to your nose. Keep going. How fast can you go? Yeah, maybe you don't want to go fast. Maybe you want to go at this pace. Maybe you want to go slower. Maybe you want to stop grabbing your knees, and you just want to do more of a bicycle. Yeah, keep going. Keep going, check in with your breath. Let's move, let's move. A few more, we got it in us. Last inhale, last exhale. Bring everything down to the mat, yep. Everything out in front of you. It's good to get our heart rate up as much as we can. So if you wanna do that again now, just pause the video, try it again. For the rest of us, put the soles of the feet on your floor Coming into bridge, let's lift our hips. Yeah, so different angle. Here you go. Lifting your hips. Your hands are anchored to the floor or to your mat. Just see how high you can get your hips. If your shoulders are tight, here you go. Maybe clasp your hands underneath. Yeah, see what height you can get. Maybe you can lift up your heels and walk your feet back a little bit. Yeah, see what's possible. Check back in with your breath here. Think of your three favorite animals right now. If you don't like animals, think of your three favorite things in nature. Yeah. Did you know thinking of your favorite things automatically gives you more energy? Mm-hmm. It's true. One last breath. Now release your hands if you have them clasped and then roll your spine all the way down really slowly and then come into butterfly. Put the soles of your feet together, give another angle, and then your knees go out wide. So here's butterfly, yep. And we're just gonna sit in butterfly for a minute while we let our inner thighs release. So a lot of stuff gets tight in our body and it's really important that you settle into these poses for as long as you can. Yin yoga classes will have you stay in them for up to eight minutes. Yeah, we're not gonna do that today, but if you want to do that, butterfly is one of those positions. So reclining, well, this is butterfly right here. Reclining butterfly, You're just laying down. Let your knees fall. And then just close your eyes and just relax. So it's impossible to get people out of that pose because it's so relaxing. For now though, you can either pause the video or let's keep moving. Cross your right knee over your left and then send both of your knees down to the left side of your body. So I'll give another angle here. Yep, supine twist. Once you're in supine twist, maybe your right hand will extend all the way out. Maybe your gaze follows your hand. Here we are. On your next exhale, bring your knees back to center. Let's reverse that cross. Send both the knees to the right, other side. Something may adjust or pop, that's okay and normal. Do a little adjustment of your shoulders. Make sure both shoulders are close to the mat. Then extend your left hand out. Here it is. Maybe your gaze follows and looks at your fingers. You can close down your eyes. You can keep them open. And on your exhale, come back to center. If you want to, give your knees a little squeeze in a little bit more. 
go into a little roly-poly ball, and then what we, we're gonna rock and roll. So all you're gonna do is grab behind your knees, roll up, maybe you wanna massage your back again, roll up, it's kind of fun if you get going, roll up, do as many as you want, find height, see what's possible. Come on parents, y'all too. Spinal health and flexibility is so important. This is what keeps us young. Last one and come on up to your feet when you're done. Yeah. How's everybody feeling? Okay, come back down to your knees. You can come to hero's pose. We're gonna close down class for today, but you can always repeat this entire routine to give you more of a workout. If hero's pose is too difficult for you, come back down to your seat. Maybe fire log is appropriate. Yeah, one leg on top of the other. Maybe you just wanna crisscross your legs. Either of any of these is possible. I think I'm gonna do hero's pose because hero's pose reminds me that I'm wise as we all are. We're very wise. Our bodies are wise. And during times of uncertainty, we can just look inward, listen to our own intuition, and know what's best for us. Kids, you wanna to listen to mom and dad, take care of yourselves, spend some time together, do more activities like this, and stay well. Hands in prayer or at the heart center. Press your thumbs into your sternum right here and look down at your fingernails. I appreciate you sharing your time with me during our practice. And I hope you'll take this peace and wisdom with you throughout the rest of your day. Thank you for being here.